رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم مرفوعا يعني from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said in one of them من صام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا whoever fasts رمضان with iman and expecting the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are the two shurud given here? Huh? Iman, what else? That you will expect that reward. This, this is deep if you think about it. One is somebody who fasts just because it's cultural. They will not get this reward. Sometimes you go to the Muslim lands and people are fasting, but wallahi, they have no intent, no niyyah. It's only because they're ashamed to eat in front of the people. So then, when they don't have that niyyah, they don't have that intention, or they're not people of iman. And sometimes we in San Diego, we get non-Muslims that fast with us. In Ramadan, they just on their own, they come to the masjid, for iftar, and they're like, I was fasting all day, right? But they don't believe in Allah. They don't believe in the Akhirah. They don't believe in Rasulullah, alayhi salatu salam. They don't have the aqeed al-sahiha. They don't have iman. They will not get the reward from it. They'll be hungry. They might get some health benefits, but not the reward from it. And some people may have iman, and they are fasting, but they're again doing it because of cultural norms. They're not thinking that Allah will reward me for this, that Allah will forgive my sins for this, that this is something that will bring me closer to Allah. So then even if their fast, if their niyyah is correct, they might get the fulfillment of the obligation, but not the reward that's mentioned in the hadith, which is ghufira lah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive ma taqaddama, whatever is in the past, min dhambi, from his sins. So now think about this. This is where we lose sight of the goal. So realizing the importance of the maghfira, of the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's how we have to enter Ramadan. That if we fast in the month of Ramadan with two conditions, what are those shurut? What are those conditions? Iman and ihtisab. What does that mean in English, somebody? Faith and reward. Yes, having strong, clear faith and expecting the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. With these two together, when we fast the month of Ramadan, Allah will forgive our sins, whatever is from the past. Now, the ulema of Islam, they explain this by saying that this is for the minor sins. The major sins require tawbah. Repentance. But that you can do in the month of Ramadan as well.